So again, I just want to thank everybody for being here today. Uh, our great Congressman Steve Lynch is here. A lot of county officials, city officials, school officials here as well. Uh, but of course, the staff, the wonderful staff, the brave men and women of Neighborhood Health Center under the leadership of Sue Joss. Uh, you know, Brockton is very fortunate to have the Neighborhood Health Center. The men and women really put their lives on the line. When I worked with Meme and DPH to put the tents at Perkins Park up the street to help people facing homelessness here in the city of Brockton, Father Bill's Mainspring, it was Sue and the staff here at Neighborhood Health Center that went up there every single day and did testing. Thousands and thousands of Brocktonians and neighboring community residents have been tested because of Neighborhood Health Center. So this is the rightful place to be here today. Today is the CARES Act uh, check ceremony. I want to thank the county commissioners, but I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you. We're not through COVID right now. 281 losses of lives, over 4,500 residents that are either dealing with or have dealt with COVID. It's a deadly virus, and we need to be vigilant and diligent and continue to adhere to the health standards. That's what we need to do to control this. So it's my honor and privilege to welcome and thank Stephen Lynch for all his leadership helping us now during COVID, before and in the future. Thank you, Congressman. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Let me get this off if I can. Uh, and thank you, for the, thank you for the face mask. That's beautiful. I love that. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. So, what we're doing here today is uh, the, the, the CARES Act that we passed some time ago uh, basically tried to address all of the situation that we were dealing with the pandemic. Uh, but the most immediate and serious concern was for the health and safety of the people from Brockton. And so uh, early on, and, and Sue and I were, were not only daily uh, uh, conversants, but uh, uh, hourly conversations regarding what was going on at, at Brockton Neighborhood Health Center. And uh, at first, we did not have the PPE we needed. Uh, believe it or not, I was in conversations with the mayor of Shanghai, China, who I happened to meet when I was over there, uh, to try to get masks and, and uh, face shields and the equipment, gloves and, and others that we needed to get, uh, unfortunately, from overseas to protect our own people. But uh, with the help of, of Mayor Sullivan, who was phenomenal on this, uh, with the help of Mike Brady, our, our state senator, and Michelle Dubois, and, and Jerry Cassidy, and uh, who am I forgetting? Claire Cronin. Claire Cronin, God bless her. Uh, we did a team approach, and, and also at the city council level. We were able to get tens of thousands of N95 masks, the good ones, you know, uh, because there were a lot of uh, substandard product out there. We got tens of thousands. I think eventually we got 50,000 face shields for uh, Brockton Neighborhood Health Center, for Brockton Hospital, for Good Samaritan Hospital, and other hospitals in the area. But it was a real scramble. The people on the front lines, though, it was Sue Joss and her staff and the people here in Brockton. Brockton was initially, we all got caught off guard, but Brockton was initially one of the highest infection rate cities in the Commonwealth. So we had to really step it up, especially among uh, families of color, within communities of color. And so we had a, 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 an emergency situation. And thankfully we had, think about this, think if we didn't have Brockton uh, Neighborhood Health Center, because they really are the point of contact between a lot of our families who rely on them for their daily care. And, you know, I remember, I go back to Jack Units when we did the expansion, well, the first time we walked into Sue Joss's office, we were climbing over people who were waiting, you know, patients who were waiting to be seen. We were able to get the, the expansion done. And uh, Sue, Sue Joss has been a, an incredible leader within the health community here and really the point of contact for all of us. So today's event is really to say thank you to our first responders, including the police and fire and, and ambulance service that, that was on the front line at the beginning of all this. And the way this has happened, so this is different because this is Plymouth County. Uh, in other states, the governor just kind of takes his own idea about, or her idea and, and hands the money out as they might see fit. Here we do it differently. And we have the treasurer, Tom O'Brien of, of Plymouth County and our local officials that decide where the money goes. So we have a, a, a group of county commissioners, uh, uh, Greg Hanley, and uh, Sandy Wright and Mr. Pallotta that, that are making the, those decisions at a local level on our behalf 
working with our mayor and our city council, our state reps and our senators. That's how it happens here, and that's why we're here today. So we were able, at the federal level, we were able to get $2.7 billion for Massachusetts. But all I do is push the money out the door. And then it's the responsibility of all these people, the mayor and all the officials that are here, that really put that money into action. So that's why, you know, there, were, there was $1.3 billion uh, nationally just for health centers, direct funding for health centers. And then uh, $236 billion that went to hospitals and, and health centers nationally. So, you know, this is really where the, where the, the, the money comes into effect. Uh, and so we have more to do. As, as the mayor said, there's more work that needs to be done here. We're very nervous about a flare-up in late October or November uh, with COVID. So we have to have all the PP in house, PPE in-house. We have to be ready for that. We're also continuing to work on a vaccine and other mitigating pharmaceuticals to, to stop the spread of the virus. But it's been a team approach. And I'm just so proud. Look, you know, Brockton has a great reputation you know what? Sometimes tough, tough times bring out the best in people, right? And that's how it is in Brockton. That's how, that's your character. That's your legacy from being an old industrial shoemaking uh, center of blue collar, you know, hardworking, hardy people that respond to a challenge. That's what we see today in Brockton in this pandemic. So I'm just, I'm just very thankful that we have you know, Mayor Bob Sullivan uh, as mayor, and we have a great city council that works as a team here. You know, we got John Buckley, my colleague and neighbor, uh, that works with me on a daily basis. And we've got a great team here. And uh, fortunately, we have the intellectual capacity and, and the healthcare expertise that Sue Joss brings to the table on behalf of all of her staff. So we are truly blessed and we're gonna have the resources, and I know we got the people and, and the skill set uh, among our leadership here in Brockton to, to get at this problem. So we have more work to be done, but there's also, you know, we passed the HEROES Act, which is sitting on Mitch McConnell's desk in the, in the Senate. And so that would basically replace the, the tax revenue that Brockton would have received had we not get into this pandemic, because a lot of businesses are shut down, the tax revenue is not coming in. So that will allow Mayor Sullivan to keep the nurses, the teachers, the police, the fire, and, and city administration working. And like, like I said, we've got a great team here. Uh, I appreciate all of the, the, the work that's been done. I know that Tom O'Brien is the man with the check, so he's the man of the hour right now. And. Uh, I'd like him to come forward and uh, offer his remarks as well. Thank you, Congressman. We're going to turn it over to the one of the oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's okay. Yeah. One thing, Mr. Chairman. So when you have these many politicians around, right, you maybe think the helicopter is going to be zooming on us. No, there's a working fire, serious fire right now on Pleasant Street. So our thoughts and prayers are with the proud men and women of the fire department. And with that being said, the chair of the Plymouth County, uh, Dan Pallotta. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and thank you very much, uh, Congressman. We are here today, obviously, to deliver a check. It's a big deal. We're, get, we're handing money to the to city of Brockton. But it's really the beginning of what we're handing to the city of Brockton. The city of Brockton, uh, the county commissioners have committed $16 million to the city of Brockton. Uh, this check's only for a million dollars. There's $15 million more coming your way. Um, hopefully we don't have to come out and do this every time and we can send it in the mail. But uh, it's really important. Well, we'll come and see you. <laughs> it's, uh, it wouldn't have been uh, happened if, if he didn't push it out the door. As the, the congressman said, he pushed it out the door. He didn't just push it out the door. He put the local option in to allow us to recognize the need that Brockton had a higher need than the 26 other towns, and Brockton's proportional share is a little bit higher than the 26 other towns. That's pretty important. Uh, that wouldn't have happened if it was done on a, on a bigger scale. So w we do listen. Uh, the, the commissioners have worked really, really hard, and I want to thank the CFO. 
and 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 Tiffany, who worked really hard with our team and the treasurer uh, to get uh, the paperwork done. You know, it's it's not an easy thing to do a federal grant. They're tough. They're long. There's all sorts of paperwork that needs to be done. Some of the cities and towns you'll have read got money weeks ago. They're FEMA towns on the ocean that are used to those federal forms. Now that Brockton's done one, the money's going to start flowing to Brockton. So we're really excited to have been a partner. We're really excited to deliver. And we're excited when he gets heroes out and we can deliver all over again in January. So thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you all for being here today, um, Mr. Mayor. First 100 days, man, I I'll tell you, I got to take my hat off to you in the way you've managed this crisis. You know, it wouldn't be possible without all of the, the team members you've assembled here today. Your, your staff has been amazing. Our legislative delegation has done their job, and it's nice for once to be all on the same page because regardless of what party you are a part of, this is where Americans come together. The congressman has done a tremendous job on our behalf here in the city of Brockton. Susan is our advisory board member. Having you there, you know, keeping us honest because that's the way we have to be. But I can just say uh, we have the only certified uh, county treasurer in the Commonwealth. And without his expertise, without the expertise of our chairman, who have crafted the formulas that we've put together, this is a, a, a grant that's based on population. And so how do you devise a, a mechanism to get money out to the people who need it the most fairly and equitably. So this team has been assembled and we've assembled through the help of the governor's office and his uh, ANF secretary the need to hire some auditors, some uh, accountants and some lawyers. So post audit we will be squeaky clean and it was necessary for us to put that team together so we could get the money uh, not only in the hands of the people that need it but without fraud. So with that, uh, I want to thank uh, the treasurer, and it's probably appropriate to bring you up at this time. Uh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, it's always a pleasure to come back to my hometown. I still feel like I'm here and always will be here. My heart is here. And when uh, Mayor Sullivan just said about uh, the fire, God bless them. I know that they're working hard. Uh, a past firefighter as I was for 15 years, I feel like I should run and get my gear on and go. But uh, I'm here today to um, thank you all and, and uh, Mr. Uh, Congressman, you've always been in our corner. I greatly appreciate all you've done for us, and so many of the legislative delegate here uh, have done a great job. Brockton has done a fantastic job in putting this all together and um, getting the monies that they, they so need. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to say before we go further is I, uh, we were tasked and for a challenge to with this CARES Act, and uh, we had no doubt whatsoever that this is what we should be doing for our communities and this is what the county commissioners should be doing. I want to recognize our treasurer, Tom O'Brien. Uh, we put him to the task. Uh, he's done a phenomenal job in what he's done and we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for him. So I really want to thank him and I appreciate him. I know the other commissioners appreciate him a great deal and we're very lucky to have him. Thank you. Thank you so much to the commissioners. Well, the bus has arrived. Plymouth County Treasurer Tom O'Brien, and uh, I really appreciate it. I'm here uh, for the express uh, reason to deliver a million dollars in uh, CARES Act money to the city of Brockton. I really want to commend the city uh, for stepping up to the plate, how hard you work, and a particular recognition of Mayor Sullivan. Uh, because the mayor recognized right away how important this program was, was in constant contact with the commissioners in my office to make sure that the city of Brockton uh, got some money, got it as quickly as we could, and recognize that we are in the middle of a worldwide pandemic. And we need to remember that. This is something that doesn't stop today, uh, but that is going to continue. And Mayor Sullivan has made it very clear that we need to continue coming back to Brockton with these resources because you folks need these resources. 
I also have to commend the city council uh, for their support. I see many of you here. The council president is here. Uh, we've established that relationship. So when you have needs, we hear those needs. And that's why we're here today, because of your advocacy. And we appreciate that very much. But the partnership doesn't work without the state delegation. I know many of them are here today. Uh, they are valued partners to all of us. However, I will say that it takes the commissioners to say, we need to step up to the plate and do this so that can, Brockton can get its money faster, so that Brockton can get what they need. Uh, and without the commissioners stepping forward, we wouldn't be here today. Uh, and of course, the hard work of uh, the entire team in Brockton, uh, the CFO Troy Clarkson and his team have worked very hard to make sure that we're here today. Everyone has said it, but I would be remiss if I didn't echo this sentiment. Without Congressman Lynch explaining to his colleagues in the House of Representatives and in the United States Senate how important this is to the city of Brockton, it doesn't happen. And we are very grateful for that continued advocacy and your trust in us to the deliver today. Thank you. You're welcome. So without further ado, I would like to call the mayor forward if I could. Now, I know people have been saying, but treasurer, why don't you have a big check so that we can see it? Well, because we don't want to spend the money on that. We want to make sure that we have an actual check. Uh, I can tell you uh, there are two checks here. They total $1,053,000. Uh, and these are the first of many, Mr. Mayor, that we're presenting. All right, we're presenting. Like to hear that. <laughs> and they are, uh, they are actually signed, uh, so I'm going to take are a... Signed, yes, they are signed, see. yeah. They are signed, yeah. The <laughs> amount is actually good, good to check. So we're going to get a quick picture. Uh, let me get my mask on, I apologize. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. So let's get our picture here. I want a picture of me handing it to the mayor. And now I want a picture of me not holding it, and it's in the mayor's <laughs> hand. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you to the council. Thank you to the legislative delegation. Uh, we appreciate it very much. You. You're welcome. Thank you. So on the agenda, I do want to uh, I do want to uh, give some other people the opportunity to speak. But right now, uh, the individual that is hosting today, uh, Executive Director of the Brockton Neighborhood Health Center, Sue Joss. Away. Well, thank you, Mayor, and thank you, Congressman Lynch, for the kind words on behalf of the Health Center. And um, I would ask there's four or five of our staff, um, if you could come forward just for a minute, um, yeah, for, for a little recognition. Karen, Mike, Allison, I think Sam was here. Okay, so. So this is... These are the frontline workers right here. These are the ones who made it all happen. Um, we have... Since this started in March, um, we have had more than 1,500 patients test positive, including some of our own employees. Um, we had about 40 positive employees, some of whom um, have worked from home with COVID, trying to protect our patients by working remotely and not even taking the time off that um, the rest of us would have taken. So they're the real heroes here. Um, we have a testing site at the high school, another testing site here, and another testing site indoors. So we are now testing eight or 900 patients a week. Um, without the CARES Act, we probably would be out of business. We um, received three pots of money for health centers through the federal government, totaling just over $2 million. The CARES Act was $1.3 million of us, of that. Um, so that, that's keeping the doors open, um, paying the mortgage while we had to shut down our dental department for a few months, our eye services, cut back on almost everything else. Um, we converted from in-person visits to televisits in the period of about four days um, when we weren't doing any televisits before COVID hit us. Um, we have converted dental assistants to screening tech leaders. We have um, Allison here, our, our data guru, um, came out of her role as harm reduction clinic director, which she still kept doing and is doing all our data. Karen Mark, our director of nursing, is juggling staff all over the place. Um, Mike Jacques, our facilities director, is making sure everyone is safe 
clean, um, tents working well, um, and um, you know all the staff has just been um, amazing through this. So, um, Congressman Lynch mentioned we were texting back and forth hourly late into the night. We had limited PPE. He showed up with boxes of um, face shields that came up with a whole bunch of razors for some reason. Gillette. <laughs> yeah, Gillette. <laughs> um, and Jerry Cassidy's in the back. He ha he was able to get us the um, portable sink that's in the tent right now. So it's been amazing how everybody stepped up. And then at the city level, um, the mayor pulling um, all the health care providers and emergency management providers together almost instantly has really helped all of us. So he has done an amazing job. As somebody mentioned that it happened in his first 100 days in office. And so um, pretty amazing. So thank you for all that you've done as well. And just to finish, Congressman Lynch, you've always been there for health centers. And Congressman's wife works at a health center, by the way. Um, but I have no choice. That's it. <laughs> but um, always have been there for us. And we don't know what we do without you. So thank you. It wasn't planned to brick Congressman Stephen F. Lynch and family. We didn't plan oh, that, that, but it's yeah, perfect. Luck of the Irish right yeah. there. I know, I know some of the city councilors, uh, we had asked if they wanted to speak in school committee and, and they didn't want to, the council president and state reps as well. But um, Senator Brady wanted to say a few words, I believe. Senator. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And I'm going to be brief because you already have the check, which is the most important thing. But. I want to thank Congressman Lynch time and time again. He's been in the city of Brockton. I serve in the Veterans Committee in the State House. He's been on the Veterans Committee in the federal government. And when the VA needed help, he's been here. When the Health Center needed help, he's been here. And time and time again. And i got to be brief on a little history. And Sue Joss would remember, this Health Center wouldn't be here without the efforts of Senator Tom Kennedy. And we got to remember him. Yeah. And also a wonderful woman named Mary Virginia Curtis, when it sat out with a little mobile unit behind St. Patrick's Church about a couple blocks from here, she fought and worked very hard to get the funding and help advocate on all of our behalfs to get the funding to get that mobile unit built and then the health center built here. So I thank all the elected officials who are here and we got to keep working together to get the money back into the city of Brockton. Sue, you've been right on the front line. I want to thank all our health care workers who are front line workers because when this COVID first hit, they were all, nothing stopped them from being out on the front lines helping a lot of our constituents. So God bless you all. And I do want to recognize my dear friend and neighbor, uh, and I know the congressman there, John Buckley, Register of Deeds. Yes, sir. My kids say that the Buckleys give the best candy at Halloween, so we'll be back there again, John. <laughs> Um, so that's going to conclude uh, our event. I do want to thank the treasurer. I want to thank the chair, Mr. Pilata. I want to thank Sandy. And I want to thank uh, Greg uh, for their partnership, the collaboration. We will be back again. Absolutely more money. But I want to thank the city council, school committee, and more importantly, everybody here, neighborhood health center, day in and day out that are saving lives. So God bless you. Stay safe and be well. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you,